no more products can be put on the market or even existing products must be taken off the market. I would like to give you some insights on the new legislation that has come out regarding the ban of microplastics. Of course, we are all in favor of reducing microplastics because it is so important for our environment. Now, how does it impact our industry? Well, in fact, in the cosmetics industry, we make a distinction between leave-on products and rinse-off products. Rinse-off products are, for instance, shampoo, shower gel, things that you will use, but that will also be rinsed off immediately and go into the water and have an immediate impact. If we look at the leave-on cosmetics, then we are talking about creams, but we are also talking about some leave-on cosmetics which have, in fact, a very low impact on the overall pollution of microplastics and of which this change it has a very big impact. These leave-on products are makeup, lip products and nail products. This new regulation comes in force on the 17th of October 2023. Now, for our industry, for nail products, we have a period of 12 years, so until the 17th of October 2035, to adapt for a total ban. So as of that date, no more products can be put on the market or even existing products must be taken off the market if they contain microplastics. Now, in order to encourage manufacturers like us to work fast on the transition of all the formulations, there is also a period of eight years from today until the 17th of October 31, so 2031. As of that date, any product which is put on the market and still contains microplastics must have a clear statement on the label saying that it contains microplastics. Any products that were put on the market before that date can still be on the market without that warning. But as I said, until uh, 2035, when there is a total ban. Now, what alternatives do we have? Because of course we are already working on replacing these microplastics and we have, for instance, already biodegradable plastics, which we are using and we will continue to look into into the future. There are also some glitters that are actually of biological origin, like for instance, micas, which come from stone. And these are also very great alternatives to avoid the use of microplastics altogether. We at ProNails are already working on alternatives to microplastics, so let us all work together towards a better and safer environment for everyone.